Welcome to the Archon 3T tutorial. Within the next 10 minutes, I'll be showing you how to create a house within Archon 3D. To start off with, I'm going to draw my walls within the plan view. Firstly, I place the exterior walls and then the interior walls to create the rooms. Now I'm going to use the door tool to insert doors into my design. This is done very easily by clicking on the section of the wall where you wish to insert the door. I am now going to use the window tool to insert windows. The principle is the same as placing doors. Now we have placed our windows and doors, we can edit them further. This is done by double left clicking a door or window. This will bring up the door dialog. In the door dialog you can adjust height, width, type and specific details of a door. Within this dialog you are also able to apply textures to the door components. From the stair tool icon, I'm going to add an L-shaped staircase. I'm going to position the staircase with three simple clicks. Once I have positioned the staircase correctly, the staircase dialog automatically appears. In this dialog, I can edit heights of stairs, tread depth, amount of steps, and the banister details. Now we have completed the first floor of our design. At this point, we can have a look at it in 3D. The next step is to create an upper floor. This is so simple. From the top menu, select Floor, New Top Floor, and it's that simple. You have just created our upper floor. Our design is nearly complete. We just need to add a roof. Let's go back to 2D mode and select the Roof tool. Draw around the building you wish to apply the roof to. Right click to bring up the roof dialog. This is where we can work on each side of the roof individually, changing pitch, height and the textures. Now I want to add a roof over the main part of the building. To do this we have to add an attic floor. So we go to floor, new top floor and we'll name it attic. Click OK and again go to the roof tool and drag a roof simply over our main building. Right click to enter the roof edit tool and then again you can edit your details from here. So now you can see our 3D model is nearly complete. We can add advanced features on like dormer windows, skylights, chimneys. This is all possible. So now we want to add textures to our 3D model. From our texture catalog you can drag and drop textures onto our model and objects. You can download textures from the internet and rescale them to size.
With the aid of the chimney tool, you can create chimney breasts. You can edit the width and the height of the chimney, as well as the texture. Now I'm going to enlarge my plan area to allow me to put a garden and surrounding area onto my plot. I'm going to use the ground define tool to lay out my garden area. So now you can see we have defined the ground area. It's a bit flat so we can insert hills and trees. It is also possible within Arcon 3D to create swimming pools and ponds and rivers. Within the object catalogue you have over a thousand objects for the home and garden. The textures can be changed on these and the object size can be distorted. This is a simple drag and drop process to put them in the plan. If you double left click on any object you can open up the object's properties. This will allow you to distort the object in size and texture. I'm now going to use the ground area tools again to draw out a patio area. Again, you can see I'm changing the texture of the patio. I'm going to put a tile brick surface down. From the object catalogue, I'm now going to drag and drop some garden furniture into my plan. From the side menu, I can choose to rotate my objects at any angle. Using the zoom tool, I can zoom right into my objects or any detail on the building. So now we've completed the look of our external building, we can now go inside our building using the walkthrough features in Arcon 3D. Also, some objects in Arcon 3D are animated, such as these sliding doors. You can create rendered AVI videos using Arcon 3D to use as presentation tools. There's also a background tool that allows you to import photographs of your surrounding area, for example your garden. It's not just the exterior of the building you can do, you can concentrate on the interior design by applying textures to the walls and floors and objects inside the building. You can work on certain rooms in particular detail, for example kitchens. You have a great variety of objects speci specially created for the kitchen. These objects can be simply dragged and dropped into the kitchen, rotated round and even duplicated. These objects can be resized, retextured and have materials applied to them. Thank you for watching the Arcon 3D tutorial. For more information please visit our website.